Hi, my name is Roger McVeigh, and I'm in my office here at the University of Idaho, where I teach. Uh, Idaho is very far from where you are. <laughs> it's on the other side of the country. Um, it's close to Seattle. Um, we're really close to Canada. And it's a beautiful state. We have a lot of mountains nearby. Um, there are a lot of moose around here. Sometimes I have moose walking through my front yard, which is uh, kind of crazy. Um, and of course, we have famous Idaho potatoes. But I grew up in North Carolina, which is not very far from you, and that's where I still think of as home. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be coming to Lynchburg soon to play a concert on Sunday, November 7th at Randolph College. And I'm going to share with you a little bit today one of the pieces that I'll be playing on that concert. Okay? Um, in my concert, I'll be playing music by several different composers, all of whom are alive and actually all of whom are women. Uh, sometimes when I meet people, when I'm doing concerts and traveling around, sometimes I meet people and they're surprised to learn that, first of all, there are a lot of composers alive today writing great music. Um, because they're only familiar with people like Beethoven and Mozart and Chopin, and they're not really aware of all the composers who are working today. That's the first thing. And then secondly, sometimes they're surprised that there are female composers as well as male composers. Um, because all of the composers that they've heard of are men. Well, there have been great female composers throughout history, uh, but most of them were not afforded the same kinds of opportunities as their male counterparts. Um, and as a result, their music, you know, sometimes is neglected or it's kind of forgotten altogether, or it's not published in their lifetime, those kinds of things. But luckily, that's changing now. There's a lot more interest and focus on great female composers of the past. Uh, and at the same time, there are lots of great women composers alive today writing music. Um, and so I think it's important to, share, to, to help share the new music that's being created by today's composers because Composers need performers to help bring their music to life, right? They have an idea about the music, they write it out, but without performers to really uh, share it with people, it just sits in a book, right? Uh, so that's really important to me. And, you know, Beethoven and Mozart and Chopin, they're all great, I love their music. But also, they're all dead European dudes. And uh, there's a lot more to the world of classical music than that. So the piece I'm going to play for you today is written by a composer named Libby Larson. And uh, Libby Larson is actually a pretty famous composer, um, fantastic composer. She lives in Minneapolis and she has a website. So if you're interested in learning more about her, you can just look her up. Um, she wrote this piece for me in 2016. Um, I felt very honored that she wrote this piece for me. And um, the great thing about playing music by living composers is that if you have a question about something in the piece or you want to ask them what they were thinking about when they composed it, you can just call them or you can send them an email and they'll answer, okay? You can't send an email to Beethoven. I mean, you could, but he wouldn't write you back. So anyways, um, I, <laughs> I asked Libby, uh, you know, what are the things that she was thinking about when she wrote this piece? And she said, in this movement, I'm gonna play for you the first movement from a group of pieces. And she said, in this one, she's really thinking about dance music from the 1940s and the 1950s. So it's a lot of um, kind of big band style, jazz style. Um, and so you'll hear some things that are reminiscent of music of that time. Like you'll hear um, a lot of big chord hits, which sound like the horn section in a, in a big band, like the trumpets and trombones and saxophones. Uh, you'll hear things like this. Okay. Um, in the middle of the piece, you'll hear my left hand is doing this kind of walking bass um, style, like you might hear in a jazz combo, a string bass, walking around playing different notes. Sounds like this. Another thing you'll hear is a lot of really crazy riffs in the right hand, 
um, and sometimes in the left hand, which are similar to bebop style. You know, if you think of the music of like Charlie Parker or John Coltrane, um, it's really similar to that. These unpredictable, wild uh, riffs with spiky accents, sometimes unpredictable rhythm. Here's one of them right here. Kind of like that. Uh, so this is the first movement of a piece called uh, Four and a Half, a piano suite by Libby Larson. Hope you like it, and I hope that some of you can make it to the concert on November 7th.